Just now, I have talked about the four great Chinese cuisines. Now I'm going to talk about eating for harmony. It is generally believed by Chinese people that whatever people eat or drink, not only the quantity but also the method, affects a certain part or organ of the human body. Therefore, eating and drinking is of special importance to the Chinese, not only to their physical well-being but also to their mental health and harmony. Many Chinese believe in the traditional saying, "Food is better than medicine." Therefore, people should resort to nutritional therapy first, and medicine is taken only after proper feeding has failed. Ancient Chinese medicine holds that the functions and structures of the human body can be divided into two categories. Yin and Yang, the two opposite yet complementary forces of nature. Yang stands for anything that is positive, active, ascendant, external, or energetic, such as the male, the body surface, the upper part of the body, the back, and the limbs. Yin stands for anything that is slow, quiet, descendant, internal, or stable, such as the female. The internal organs, the abdomen, and the lower part of the body. The vital process of the human body are manifestations of the motion of the yin and the yang. Unity and the contradiction of yin and yang gives rise to various kinds of life phenomena. When yin and yang are in a balanced state, complementing and promoting each other. The human body will enjoy good health. When either aspect becomes excessive or insufficient, this will result in the disharmony of yin and yang. In other words, the normal functioning of the body will be damaged, and so health cannot be maintained. In the West, people think of balanced diet. As one containing certain amounts and ratios of carbohydrates, proteins, fats, fiber, vitamins, and so on. In China, however, in order to achieve physical as well as mental health and harmony, people try to attain a balance of yin and yang within the body by taking into account food properties as well as personal and climatic factors. Traditionally, the Chinese people regard foods as possessing the characteristics of yin or yang, that is, having cooling or warming properties. Cooling foods are often low in calories and pale in color, such as celery, cucumber, crab, freshwater clams, snakes, persimmons, and green tea. It is more appropriate to eat this kind of food in hot weather or when someone has too much internal heat, which is regarded by traditional Chinese medicine as a cause of disease. Warming foods such as meat, garlic, pepper, ginger, sugar, wine, apricots, and black tea are often high in calories or spicy in nature. And are considered as stimulating. Cooking can alter the qualities of foods. Roasting and stir frying will render food warm, while salting a dish or making it cold dressed with sauces will cool it. Besides, the correct combination of one kind of food with another or several kinds of others. Will help change their original tastes and properties, making them more delicious and more nutritious, and beneficial to the human body as well. Therefore, major meals that the Chinese people take every day will contain various dishes with different but complementary ingredients, flavor, and textures. In China, 
There were not only several major types of cuisine, but also a great variety of cooking methods. Many books concerning food or food preparation have been written throughout Chinese history. According to either folk tradition or Chinese medicine, different flavors are related to different organs of the body. Soreness is associated to the liver, sweetness to the spleen, bitterness to the heart, hardness to the lungs, and saltiness to the kidneys. If any of these flavors is excessive in the diet, the related organs will not function properly, and it will do harm to the body when this occurs often. The Chinese also think that a particular food has some beneficial effects on a particular ailment, being called treats arteriosclerosis. roses. Dried mushrooms treats high blood pressure. Red beans treats anemia. Pears treats coughing, etc. Therefore, if a person falls ill, his or her family would prepare for him or her some special food according to his or her illness. It is also a very popular belief that a particular organ of animals is beneficial to the same organ of the human body. And that is why the custom of eating animals' internal organs has ever been popular in China.